We are here at the Canadian Space Agency in Saint-Hubert, Quebec. Today we are over the moon to be able to meet one of Canada's newest astronauts, Dr. Dr. Jenny Seide Gibbons. Hi, my Hi. name is Jenny Seide Gibbons and I'm a Canadian Space Agency astronaut. Hi Jenny. So nice to meet you Jenny. Thanks That's for being awesome. here, it's my pleasure. Thank mm -hmm. you. So we would love to learn what being an astronaut is all about, so we're going to play a quick game to find out. Describe your job in a 10 word sentence. I prepare to fly in space for Canada with others. Nice. Hit it. Nailed nice. it. You've got to use all your words, you know? <laughs> yes, I love it. So you went through a pretty rigorous process for astronaut candidacy. Can you take us through some of the steps of that as you were launching your career as an astronaut? Oh, good one. <laughs> Absolutely. The recruitment campaign was split up into these different assessment centers. And the first assessment center was physical training, but it really was different than what I was expecting. It was kind of like a boot camp. Basically, the Canadian Space Agency wanted to see how you performed with others under pressure. They test you physically and mentally. You have psychological tests, you work as a team, you work by yourself. There are like hazmat simulations. Wow. They don't let you sleep as much as you would want to sleep. It's just oh, a really no. stressful <laughs> environment to see how you perform under pressure. Then we went into things like emergency scenarios, firefighting, you had to escape from a helicopter underwater. Whoa. Things I would never really do as an academic, you know. <laughs> so what does it take to escape from a helicopter underwater? It is a really fast process. You are holding your breath, uh -huh. you are flipped upside down, yeah. you have a very very quick brief about where your door is or your window is that you're going to get out of. So I remember this, this man briefing me, this is what you're going to do as we're going down in the water. And I was like, okay, okay dude. <laughs> and I think the last question I asked is, should I have my eyes open? And he said, it won't matter. And then he put his scuba <laughs> thing in and then we went under and wow. flipped around. One big area is spacewalk training. Mm. So we call that EVA, extra, ve extra vehicular activity training. Nice. It's this huge pool where we have pretty much a full-size mock-up of parts of the International Space Station. Wow. It is amazing. And you go down there with this incredible team of divers and test conductors who work with weights and bits of foam to make you neutrally buoyant in the water to simulate doing some sort of task. It's very physically challenging, it's very mentally demanding, but it is one of my favorite parts about the job because it is so cool. We also work in teams flying very fast jets, so T-38 jets. Basically that trains us to be able to perform tasks in a very ha uh, fast paced situation. Right. We learn the Russian language, because nice. uh, space flight is an international partnership. Mm -hmm. And we also do a lot of robotics. So kind of the crux of Canada's contribution to the International Space Program mm -hmm. is the robotic arm yes. and other robotic nice. elements on the ISS. Like the, the last thing we spend a lot of time on, all of the systems on the International Space Station. So yeah. because you're up there, you have to know if something goes wrong, how to fix it, mm -hmm. how to maintain it, how to do all the experiments on it. But really, in case something goes wrong, how do you save yourself and your crew? So what we're going to do is ask you to draw what inspired you or what continues to inspire you now and think of maybe making that as a patch so for your future missions. So what would your future mission patch look like? Mm. Okay, first of all, it would have to have Canada in it, which is kind of tricky because drawing Canada on the spot, <laughs> we know that it's difficult. Probably this is what I want to see for Canada from space, so imagine this is from space. Maybe I would want this to be at night so I can see all the cities oh, the and nice. all the people that have contributed to Canada's space program and make Canada what it is. Artistic license taken with <laughs> Canada's coastlines. We asked a bunch of people what they thought about and if they thought that humans should go to Mars and why. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of interesting answers. What would you say? I would say yes. I'd say humans should go to Mars. We should keep exploring. I think where people kind of get tripped up the, with the idea of exploration and if we should do it or not is what are we going to learn. Mm -hmm. And it's hard because we don't know what we're going to learn yet. That's yeah. the, the nature of exploration. But it is fundamentally how we make progress. So throughout your journey to become an astronaut, you've had a lot of impressive accomplishments and you've probably learned a lot of lessons along the way. Can you tell us a time that you failed and what you took from it? Absolutely. So I guess the challenge here would be picking which time I failed. I mean, if you are not failing, you are not trying things that are hard enough. There's been programs that I didn't get into, grants that I didn't get, scholarships that I applied for I didn't get, teams that I got cut from. There's been a huge amount of failure in my life. So success doesn't just happen. It really is an iterative process and failures are there. A lot of times they're just invisible.
My best advice for people would be find something that you really love, maybe not something that's going to get you to a place like being an astronaut, but something you're really passionate about. After that, you have to work really, really hard at it, so that passion will come in handy on late nights when you're trying to work towards your goal. And then finally, I want you to seek out people who can be mentors, role models, and allies, because those are the people that are really going to help teach you and help you grow into the best person you can be along your path, whatever that path might be, astronaut, artist, engineer, writer, or anything. Good luck. It's been stellar chatting with you. Oh, it's my pleasure. Been a blast. <laughs> Thanks for coming around, you guys. Thanks. It was my pleasure.